Okay. Welcome to Electro Online. And an obvious example for exponential growth is what we call compounded interest that's continuously compounded. So in a, some previous um, video, just a few videos ago, we saw compounded interest compounded yearly, monthly, weekly, daily. But what would it look like if we do continuous compounding? Of course, no bank would ever want to do that because the computers would just continuously have to calculate your interest earned. But we can actually calculate it relatively simple. So from the equation that we use for compounded at periodic intervals, like yearly, monthly, or weekly, or even daily, we can then convert that to continuous compounding via the exponential function or the natural exponential function. So let's go ahead and go ahead and uh, calculate a thousand dollars invested at eight percent for five years okay so I didn't include that so for five years using continuous compounding so in other words use a natural exponential function so the amount earned after t is equal to five is equal to the initial principal which is a thousand dollars invested times e to the rate which will be 0.08 times the number of years, so that what t would be equal to 5. And let's find out what it is equal to. So that would be 5 times 0.8 is 0.4, uh, or 0 0.08 is 0.4, so we take 0.4, we use that exponent of e to the x, times 1,000. So of course, calculators are very handy when it comes to these kind of things. So this is equal to 1,491 dollars and 82 cents. If you go back to the video where we did daily compounding, you'll see that you don't earn very much more, just a few pennies, when you do daily compounding, I mean, when you do continuous compounding relative to daily compounding. But here you can see how the equation works. And actually, if you want to do a quick calculation of how much interest you can earn in the bank, you'll be very close when you use continuous compounding versus daily comp compounding, and it's a lot easier to calculate using your calculator. So that's a nice example of how we use the natural growth equation, the natural uh, exponential function to calculate how much money we will earn when we can invest money in the bank. And that's how it's done.